Now we're going to use a for loop. So a loop encoding just means you're going to repeat some code over and over and over again. In this case, we're going to use a special loop called a for loop because we're going to repeat certain code for a certain number of times. So when your user asks for a 10 digit password, we're going to repeat some code to choose random letters 10 times. So to create your for loop, go ahead and type in the word for. We're going to use a variable called i. And that letter i is just going to be helping us count out how many digits we've already added to our password. And then we're going to put in in range parentheses int parentheses length parentheses parentheses and then the colon. So what this line does is sets up your for loop. So for i in range int length just means you're going to repeat this for loop for however many characters the user wants in their password. We use the word int in there because we want to make sure that the number the user put in there is actually an integer, a whole number. Go ahead and after the colon, press enter and replit will automatically indent for you. So this indentation is just an indicator for which parts of your code are going to be repeated in this for loop. Since we want to repeat choosing a random letter and adding that letter to our password, we're going to have two lines indented to do those two tasks. So we're going to create a variable called rand char. So this is just short for random character. We're going to be choosing a random character from our lowercase list for however many times our user needs. So after our rand char variable, we're going to set it equal to the random module that we imported earlier. And we're going to use the choice function. So dot choice will let you use the function to choose a random option from something. And then in parentheses, we have to put in where we're getting those random choices. It'll be from our lowercase variable. So go ahead and add in lowercase and then second parentheses. Then hit enter. And our second step is to take that random choice that we just got and add it to the password that we're building one letter at a time. So for this, we're going to use our password variable. At the beginning, it's going to be empty. We're going to set it to equal the old password that you already had. So, so if you already have one letter in there, we're going to add to the end of that. And we're going to add that rand char that we chose. So at the beginning, since password is empty, we're just going to be adding one letter. So the password is going to equal your old password plus that letter. And then the second time around, you're going to take that password that already has one letter and add another character to it, and so on until you get to the number of desired characters. Now what the code is going to do is repeat this for however many times the length is. So once we're done, go ahead and hit Enter. And if Replit automatically indents you, so let's say your cursor is underneath the word password again, go ahead and press backspace until you're at the beginning of this next line. Because we don't want this code that prints out your password to run until the entire for loop is done. So we're going to print, and in parentheses, we're going to label it with quotation marks, weak password, and add a colon, an extra space, and the quotation marks, and we're going to add your completed password. So what this is going to do, the print command just makes something appear on your console. And what we want to appear is the text weak password, colon, and then we're going to add to the end of that whatever your password was. So go ahead and hit the run button, and we're going to test it out. So over here, click on the right side so that that cursor turns white. Hit put in the number that you want to use for your length. I'll put 10. Press enter. And you should see that it generates a weak password. And, and it will only choose from your lowercase letters. Now you can do this a couple times. Hit the run button again, and you should get another random set of 10 letters. I'll hit run. Type in 10 again. Hit enter. And now you see I have a new password, but again, it's only choosing from the lowercase letters. So we classify this as a weak password because you only have a very limited number of options to choose from. You just have the 
26 letters from your lowercase letters and you just mix them up to figure out all the different options.